Hello, good evening. I'm here for Diana Delgado. I'm here for uh, Jade Edmund Kelly. I'm here to talk about Dylan Sellner tonight. I have the opportunity to talk about PJ Rashid. Really, really incredible when you think about how many different things and how diverse the program was for all of you over the last year. Two charitable projects that you guys got involved in. You guys went through, did Enneagrams. You, you had the Kenwood kids come in the actual things we do, Tom Brandt's coming in and speaking or learning about your personality profiles, those are all great, but it's also rubbing elbows with a bunch of people that are like you, that are excited for their future. And they're excited about investing in their futures and you guys have done that. He's been a huge leader um, in this profession. It's kind of an individual game on the sales side of things. But he's, he's team first. He's always asking, hey, where are we at for the month as a team? Uh, where do we need to be? What can I do? How can I help? He's always approaching me when he's coming back from emerging leaders uh, and telling me what he learned today and, and how he's going to apply it to not only his profession, but his personal life. He was the most sure candidate of what he was going to achieve, what he wanted, and he was going to do it. As far as the emerging leaders go, she's really already stepped into that emerging leader role. Um, we've had some turnover in the finance department, and she's just stepped up to be Jess's second in finance. It was apparent to me right away that uh, Mike was my emerging leader in my shop, uh, because everybody just automatically kind of kind of goes to him. He kind of knows what's going on and knows what it's about, and he's actually helped me in a lot of ways when it comes to, who do I call to fix this hoist? Who do I call in Dubuque? I'm not a Dubuque native, so. I rely on him. I, uh, I can't say enough about him. I'm, I'm looking forward to spending more time, and I, I think I'm making a lifelong friend, so. She's developed so many relationships with places that we didn't even have to tell her to do. I mean, she just kind of took it, like, hey, I'm gonna start calling banks, I'm gonna talk to banks, develop relationships. The one thing I just kept coming back to with Dylan is his positivity. He brings that mindset that we talk about every day. It hit me, I thought it was gonna be more, more work-related, Personally, it actually hit me more on a personal level and kind of, you know, checked my life before I, you know, ruined some relationships. So it was a pretty good thing to take. So I would highly recommend to anybody. And if you have the opportunity, I'd take advantage. She's kind of like that go-to gal that you call and you're like, hey, can you help me out with this? I know I can trust that she'll get that done. But specifically over the last year, what we've seen the most out of her is her growth mindset. Blake was the type of person that would go around the entire dealership, technicians, parts, everybody, and fist bump right away in the morning. He'd go and talk to everybody. Not, not many people do that, and to be a salesperson and do that, it just comes to you naturally. And Murphy was talking about a relentless pursuit of growth. Demetrius Clinton is by far one of the best examples of that that we have in this company. This program, it's definitely brought me out of my bubble more. I was out of my bubble a little bit, but this is, you know, has got me in contact with a lot of different people, stuff like that. And, I don't know. All around, I love it. It's a great program, no doubt. The kid is always there, always saying yes, always helping out. Doesn't matter if it's being a mentor to our new people, if he's doing everything. I mean, the dude always says yes. Sales off the chart and how she connects with customers, breaks down that barrier and gives them a great experience. Seeing that confidence grow, um, it's spilling out in our leadership with our management team, with our sales team. Um, she's pushing all of us to be better. Alex has a real growth mindset just in everything he does. He's constantly coming back, asking me for little bits of advice on how to handle little search situations. And um, he's constantly looking for ways to just get better as a person and as a professional. Such a great knowledge of the Volkswagen franchise. I'm actually asking him for more help than him asking me right now. So I'm just starting to learn that. I think he's learned a lot he's grown a lot. And you've been able to see that in his, just his self demeanor, his self confidence and the ability to believe in yourself, which is realistically one of the most important things. It's just, it's been mind blowing watching you change throughout the year, J.D., and you've taken it that next step and the sky is definitely the limit for you. So congratulations. So one of the biggest things about Merging Leaders is that those who get selected into the Merging Leaders program are already really natural leaders. Um, Connor is a leader and Connor has never tried to, you know, tell people what to do or give people advice. People just naturally gravitate to him. And I cannot wait to see what you can do for this company because you are definitely going to change it for the better. Through all the people that you'll meet, the programs that you'll go through, the events that you'll do, and the peers that you'll talk to and learn from, it really unlocks that the natural talent and hones in your leadership skills. He's always the guy that you just know is doing the right thing um, at the right time all the time. So 
Uh, I'm super proud to have him on my team. The new car department was no longer in need of that many managers, and PJ did one of the most remarkable things that I've ever seen. Um, he stepped aside and said, where does the company need me? I've seen her growing. She's a lot more confident. Uh, she told me one time, with all the stuff we've been through in the last year and a half, if we can make it through that, and she said, if you do the best you can, do everything the right way, then you got to be able to put your head on your pillow and say, I did my best, and that's what you got to do. I had been talking to Gavin and Jeff, and they had been questioning me on whether or not I was ready to have somebody be a shop foreman. And I didn't have to ask anybody else in the shop. As a matter of fact, Scott, I had almost everybody coming to me asking, when are you going to make this guy a shop foreman? He's just really helped us develop the team um, a ton by working with them. I oftentimes go over to his desk and he's coaching up the uh, newer guys. So not only is it important for him to have good leaders, but it's also important for him to be a good leader. Joining Emerging Leaders, I thought that was a great fit for her, um, just because of her personality and wanting to learn and, and advance herself. If anyone knows him, um, you just know that he's a team player. He's always willing to help out. If, if he's busy with someone else or another customer's busy, he's gonna definitely step in and help out. She has grown so much through this Emerging Leaders program that she is not afraid to be vulnerable. She's not afraid to get back up and she is stronger every time she gets down quick to help, he doesn't complain, um, helps other people's customers and you know definitely helps himself. The biggest thing that stands out from when I met him was that uh, he just strives for growth. Just the energy he brings to the sales floor um, is phenomenal. She stepped up in many ways to help train other people. She's helped with some of the newer employees. Um, she's become a go-to person in our office. And I think what's really fun about this program is not just the actual things we do. You guys do it to invest in yourselves. Right, so it's truly the definition of relentless pursuit of growth. Regardless of what's out there, you're pursuing the growth in your own careers. You are a leader. You are even a stronger leader than you were when you started. And uh, we're very lucky to have you at our organization. Congratulations.